for one minute late. Three minutes late, your watch is slow. We have with us today one of the world's finest youth choirs. <laughs> Step, come with me. They're going to audition you. You're playing opposite some unknown guy who's been in the business a long time, yeah. some Dustin Hoffman no one's ever heard of. Who's that? Who's that guy, right? Your clock is ticking, kid. Your clock is ticking too, old man. And he plays your mentor um, in this movie. There's a little bit of a resistance in the beginning. Um, tell me a bit about what it was like working with him. It was, it's kind of the same relationship towards the end of the movie between me and him. We were, uh, we're best buddies, you know, the entire way through. And he taught me so much and I learned so much from him. And uh, I'm very grateful to have worked with him and Kathy and definitely Francois. How dare you squander your talent? Music means nothing to you. Quitting is all you know. I won't quit. And of course, what did you see in this young talent that you said, this is, this is the boy to play this very pivotal role in my movie? Yeah, what well, we needed, not only a photogenic musical young man, but we needed interiority. Uh, Stead is a difficult part to play because he doesn't speak. He barely talks, he has a few lines, and he's caught with his emotions and he's caught with his feelings and he's being bounced around. And there's nothing harder to play than a silent character who's in that kind of situation. This is the premier boy choir school in the nation. We are like rock stars. Just keep up on the music, me up front, you supporting. The boy cannot read music. He needs help, he needs Carvel as his teacher. He has neither the desire nor discipline. And here is a movie that is also, like, music is a character in this film, of course. And how do you, as a director, um, work with that as a character in a movie? Well, that's the first thing I did, like, when uh, I committed to the script, uh, was to dig in the music side, like, and listen to everything that I could, any boy choir recordings or even scores, I, I, I'd try to gather the material of the film and and my first discussions with Ben Ripley the uh, writer the first two three four meetings it was all about music we barely talked about the story and the characters we were just trying to find the core uh, center of gravity of the film in music and then we grew we grew it from there and Phil I want your boys to shatter the stained glass windows some of you become altos some of you become baritones some of you become dentists this isn't about music it's about you